Hey, this is Greg Perkins, and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Leica Captivate Total Stations and CS20 data collectors. The process is essentially the same on both units. You will need to determine if your software maintenance date allows you to update to the latest version of firmware, and then you will need to download that firmware from your Leica My World site. So I'm here in Leica My World, and I'm going to go to My Products. In this case, I'm going to look for the software for my CS20. So I'll go to the CS20 page. Once here, I can check my end maintenance date. So you'll see here that my maintenance date is current. So that will allow me to download the latest firmware. So then I will select the software page. Once that's loaded, you can scroll down and you can select this by the release number. Uh, 703 is the latest version we have available here in the end of September 2022. And what I can do is I can come down to my Leica Captivate firmware and select the download and the download process will start. Once that's finished, uh, I'll be ready to upload. So you're going to take the download file that you get uh, from the from my world and you're going to load this on the on an SD card for your instrument. You want to make sure that that file is in the system directory of your SD card. That system directory will be automatically created on the SD card when it's loaded into your controller or your total station. Also here on this page, I can download some individual applications. Uh, of course, there are many applications you can purchase for your total station or your data collector, and you can look through those and see what might be available for update there as well. So once we're completed with the download, we're able to go to our total station, our CS20 data collector, and begin the update process. So I'm here on my TS-16 and I'm going to update the software. A couple of things to be aware of. Leica has several options for software and hardware maintenance for our total stations, GPS, and data collectors. These are called customer care programs. Again, to speak to your representative about that and they can give you more details. You do need a current customer care program to be able to load the latest software. If, if you don't have that available on your instrument and on your data collector, you will see a notice down here on the settings icon that says CCP. And that is again an indication that the maintenance date has expired for the software. If you have purchased that CCP update, you can load that. The process for that would be to go to settings, tools, and then load license keys. You load the license key on the system directory of your SD card as well. And to finish that process, you would simply press OK. To check the NCCP date for your controller or your data or your total station, you would go to settings, about like a captivate, and then select like a captivate. And then you'll see your CCP end date on this line. So now we're ready to load the software. So you would go to settings, tools, update software, select your SD card. You could do this from a USB drive, but I don't recommend it. And if you have correctly placed the file in the system directory of your SD card, you will see it loaded here. You can also load any applications that you have uh, purchased. So once you have the correct file selected, you will need to scroll down and check the box that says you've read and agreed to the Leica terms and conditions. Once that's finished, you can press OK and the software will begin to upload. So a couple of notes here at the end. I've shown you this process on a TS-16 total station. The process is identical for an MS-60 multi-station or a TS-60 total station or a CS-20 data collector. If you have a CS-30 or CS-35 tablet, that process is different and won't be covered here. We do recommend that you have a fresh battery when you begin your update process. For a total station, that you will have to have at least 75% charge to complete the process. The update process will take 15 to 20 minutes per instrument. And if you are on a very old version of the software and you want to bring that up current, we do recommend that you do that incrementally. So if you were currently on version 2 and you wanted to go to version 7, we would recommend that you step through versions 3, 4, 5, and 6 and then up to seven. Uh, one other thing I do recommend is if you do a very large update, again, going from version two to version seven, is that you consider formatting your instrument, cleaning up the memory, and recreating your working styles once you're done. That'll be covered in another video. Hope this is helpful for you. Reach out to your tech support team if you need help with this. Thanks.